Hello and welcome to Stony Brook University. I'm Chuck Tabor, Dean of the Graduate School. I'd like to take this opportunity to offer you a glimpse into why I believe that you should consider Stony Brook University for the next phase of your academic career. Our graduate students play a central role in the pioneering intellectual breakthroughs that come from our fine institution. I believe that the exchange of ideas and the wealth of cutting edge research and scholarship happening here at Stony Brook makes us an attractive place for the best and the brightest to continue with their graduate study. Here at Stony Brook, we provide a unique opportunity for graduate student researchers to connect their research across the traditional structures of academia. Thank you for joining me. I invite you to continue watching so you can learn more about the wide range of experiences and opportunities that await you at Stony Brook University. Our students at Stony Brook uh, get a very, very solid education at the classroom level. They also get almost personal attention from the personnel, from the laboratories that they join, and this has been a major hallmark of, of our institution where we actually provide this personal attention. There are several important aspects to Stony Brook. One of them is faculty access to knowledge and access to easy collaborations that you don't necessarily get in a bigger institution um, than Stony Brook. There is cutting edge research happening and easy access to it. One of the things that we do here at Stony Brook, uh, it's a community-based approach to, to educating and mentoring the, the students. Graduate students have a committee that forms in the third year, which has got a, at least four faculty on it that are responsible for sort of guiding them through their career, giving them advice, working with their, their mentor, their thesis advisor, to make sure that the project is moving forward in a timely fashion. And if uh, you do run into rocky roads or if you run into problems where you need some outside help, you now have three or four people that are able to help you figure out where to get the best outside help help them proceed to degree completion in a timely fashion. The sociology department is very collaborative. Um, the faculty and the students find it necessary to work with one another and with other faculty and students across campus. This is by far and away the most interactive environment that I've been in. It's collegial, it's friendly, people get along with each other. The research center, the Center for Developmental Genetics I talked about, that was not imposed top down as this is the way to do science. This was built from the community sort of a, a grass efforts approach that we, people were interacting across departmental boundaries and across colleges. So people in the School of Medicine, the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences, the faculty here are very interactive, get along with each other. All of us, uh, care about recruiting good students, uh, getting students to do good work and graduate in a timely fashion. There's enough stuff here, there's critical mass, there's, there's a lot of really exciting sciences going on, but it's in an environment where it's very friendly and collaborative and collegial uh, and where we care about the students. And I think in that sense, I, it's one of the best places that I'm aware of to go to graduate school where you've got a community that's going to help you succeed and, and push forward as a, as a, a future scientist. I got accepted at a lot of different places, but there was nothing that compared to my experience here during the interviews. Um, everyone just seemed really genuinely interested in everything you did as an undergrad, even if it was just some little project that never panned out. They asked me really poignant questions that made me think about what I had done, that I, even with my PI as an undergrad, I didn't think about it at all. So um, everyone here is, has just been so great and supportive and, and really interested in what you're doing and interested in helping you become the best scientist that you can be. Uh, microbiology is a, is a field that has been around for, for many years. In fact, microbiology was at the very center of the discovery of the microscope and it was at the very center of the molecular biology revolution uh, with the 1930 experiments on introducing foreign DNA into bacteria. Today we're seeing a renaissance in, in microbiology in that we're beginning to see a number of, of diseases that we never knew existed and we've seen now a number of pathogens that we had known existed for a very long time that cause a number of very different uh, and uh, very often deadly diseases. So this, this field actually right now is one of the most popular fields in, in, in terms of graduate student applications. This is the field of microbiology emerging infections and the whole entire field of pathogenesis of infection, in other words, how organisms cause disease. We teach um, graduate level courses in communication um, that range from improvisation for scientists to 
a program called Distilling Your Message, which has to do with pulling jargon and technical information out and making it into clear, uh, vivid kinds of communication that the public can understand. We have a course called Writing About Science for the Public. We have media courses that are uh, on-camera kind of interviews and also just understanding how to use social media and those different uh, formats. What's so unique about the creative writing and the literature program, something that really sets it apart from the other writing programs in the country, is our emphasis on exploring and investigating other kinds of writing. Normally you apply, say, as a poet, and you only take poetry workshops while you're in this MFA program. At our program, you're encouraged to explore other genres, take writing workshops. All of the writing workshops are open to everybody. And we've found oftentimes the best playwright in a playwriting workshop will be the poet, or the best novelist in a novel writing workshop will be the playwright. So these modes of storytelling, these ways to use image, which are the stock and trade of a writer, they have applications in every genre, and it seems, it seems like a shame to restrict students from being able to explore the full range of their creativity. We make a point of doing that. So the Molecular and Cellular Pharmacology graduate program is unique in that it touches a lot of different disciplines, and um, it integrates the concept of biology and medicine under one. Uh, umbrella. It is a very interesting combination of a lot of different aspects of, of science and research and technologies. One of the graduate programs that uh, is extensively involved and from the beginning was involved with collaborating with Brookhaven and Coltsman Harbor is the genetics graduate program. That was founded as an interinstitutional program. While I was the director of that program, I was involved a lot um, with faculty at both Brookhaven and Cold Spring Harbor. Uh, the program has an annual retreat that rotates between the three places. The community of scholars that's raising our students, the students at Cold Spring Harbor have Stony Brook faculty members on their committee. Uh, many students here have faculty members from Cold Spring Harbor. Um, the students are actually the catalyst for the, the scientific interactions between our institutions. That's where the, the feet hit the road and where the work's getting done. There's a commitment to train more and more underrepresented minorities, certainly in the sciences, where there's always been a major gap. The Center for Inclusive Education is an initiative uh, from the university that groups all the minority and diversity programs that look towards the advancement of minorities in the sciences. So the Turner Fellowship Program is one of several programs in uh, Stony Brook through the Center for Inclusive Education. And it turns out that it's a program to support students in all disciplines uh, who are of minority or underrepresented groups uh, to pursue their education. And the Turner Fellowship uh, allowed me to get started in my very first year, um, going all over the U.S. to different museums where I could uh, study the anatomy of the primates that I'm interested in and that allowed me to support my costs of travel and staying in you know, different places around the country. And then last year it helped me to get out to Madagascar and start my long-term research project in Madagascar. Um, it's helped me to get through all these costs that can be really prohibitive. The support that we receive from the department and the graduate school and the Center for Inclusive Education makes us very successful as a family, definitely, and also in our academic work. Stony Brook is the campus who um, serves the community, serves the area where he is located, but it's also a campus that is transforming the way um, diversity is being approached nationally. Even the child care center here at Stony Brook is diverse. My daughter's classroom is full of people literally from all over the world. And when you look at the books that they read, some of them are bilingual. I remember seeing a flip book that taught them how to count in Korean. Um, and all she does is get up and goes to a place where she's going to play and imagine the kinds of experiences that she's going to get with so many people from everywhere. Graduate students keep you young. Uh, I mean, they, they bring in a, a lot of uh, different ideas, uh, a, a lot of different approaches that if you don't have this, you tend to become very stale. 
So this is partially what makes us continuously grow at, uh, at an academic institution, is the fact that we as professors keep getting older, but the students keep getting younger, and this is a, an extraordinary mix. I love Stony Brook, and if I could go back to 2008 when I had to decide what school I wanted to go to, I would absolutely not change anything. I would come back here in a heartbeat.